ISIS is accused this morning of using mustard gas, a chemical weapon outlawed nearly a century ago. Kurdish troops fighting ISIS in northern Iraq say they were the targets. American officials say the charges are plausible. Clarissa Ward is following the story from Istanbul, Turkey. Clarissa, good morning. Good morning. Well, a senior U.S. defense official told CBS News that reports that ISIS has used mustard gas against Kurdish uh, forces are, in fact, quote, credible. But so far, there has been no details or no information as to when these were used, how they were used, and where they were used. Now, what we believe we know is that Kurdish forces claimed earlier this week they came under a chemical attack. They did not specify what chemical was used in the attack, but video appeared to show men with respiratory problems, one man with burns, dozens of them were injured, none were killed. And U.S. officials say that they do believe that ISIS has possession of mustard gas, possibly from old Saddam Hussein-era stockpiles, but more likely from Syria. You may remember in 2013, the Assad regime admitted to having stockpiles of mustard, and they claimed at that time that they had then destroyed all of them as part of a deal that was brokered by Russia and the U.S. Now, we know in the past the Assad regime has used chlorine gas in attacks, and Kurdish fighters claim that ISIS has also used chlorine, but technically, chlorine is not a banned substance, unlike mustard gas. Mustard gas is a very primitive, very crude weapon. It was popular in the First World War, but really, you need to use it in large quantities uh, to infect any serious, serious damage. The Pentagon says it's still investigating these reports, and today, now, uh, Kurdish forces are claiming they came under yet another attack last night, but so far we have not been able to confirm that. Christine? All right, Clarissa Ward in Istanbul, thank you for that report.